what's up you guys it's Michelle so today I'm headed down to Anaheim California I'm going to a place that I've seen all over Instagram I've seen it all over Facebook it's this place called creme and sugar it's a little cafe they've become super super popular recently for having this unicorn themed menu so they have like a unicorn cake unicorn hot chocolate unicorn milkshakes and all this other super fun stuff I'm pretty sure it's all just like regular like vanilla flavored stuff that they just use like food coloring and cute sprinkles on but I thought it would be kind of fun to see if I could recreate it. First, I wanted to come to the actual cafe and order it and kind of see it and smell it and taste it for myself for, you know, like research purposes. I'm headed there now and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Today is also like the rainiest day <laughs> that I've ever seen in LA. So hopefully the line isn't like out the door because I've heard that's been a thing too. Oh my God. Flash flood warning. Oh Jesus. Let's go. you guys that was chaos you guys can see my hair's off frizzy now because it is still raining like crazy but I literally got the last piece of cake that they had for the entire day I can't believe it they were actually out of the unicorn cake that I wanted to try but they did have this they had this circus animal cake I did get to see the unicorn cake but they just sold out before I got to the cash register so I got to try this one I did also end up getting a unicorn hot chocolate like I showed in the clip I think if you live in the area this is a really fun cafe to come try but if you guys don't live in the area and can't come here I'm gonna go home now and see if I can recreate the unicorn cake and the unicorn hot chocolate for you guys so let's go Hey, what's up you guys? This is my first ever voiceover, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit awkward, but I just wanted to go step by step with you guys. So here I just started off with a normal white vanilla cake mix. I just followed the box instructions to make that, and I put it into three separate bowls. Next up, I added food coloring. So I went with a pink food coloring, a green food coloring, and then I mixed up pink and blue to make a pretty purple color. So cute. Once your colored batters are done, you want to put them into three separate round cake pans and then put them in the oven for whatever time the box says. So the key to this cake are the sprinkles. You want to make sure you get a good variety. I ended up having to go to four or five different stores to find all of these, but you can also order them online if that makes your life a little bit easier. If you actually look at the pictures of the unicorn cake from the cafe, theirs kind of looks different every single day. I think they kind of just mix it up. So just use whatever you have. The key here is just to make sure you get colors that are a little bit more pastel, and that's going to give you the look that we're going for here. Once the cakes are out of the oven and cooled, you might have to trim them a little bit like I did just to make sure that they stay flat. And now for the interior frosting, I just took some regular white icing and added some blue food coloring to it. And for this second layer, I decided to go with a yellow food coloring to have this nice pretty pale yellow frosting. stop here for a second to warn you guys do not buy this frosting that I'm showing you here I definitely did not read the label when I was at the store and I accidentally bought this fluffy marshmallow frosting and it was so sticky and so hard to work with and you guys will see in a second I tried doing this cute swirl design on top of the cake and it totally just like glooped over this stuff was really bad so make sure you buy just a normal vanilla frosting and it'll make your cake look so much nicer and smoother and not like a five-year-old frosted it okay okay I just needed to warn you guys let's continue now for the outside of the cake, I tried my best to smooth out that white frosting all over. And here were those cute little swirls I tried doing. I just added three different colored frostings into my piping bag. You guys can see they kind of turned into more like Hershey Kiss looking blobs but I thought they were still cute. <laughs> Next, it's time for the sprinkles. So you can kind of just smash those to the side of the cake. You want to go about halfway up. Mm -hmm. 
And then finally add a couple extra sprinkles to the top and you're all done. So for the unicorn hot chocolate, it's super simple. You're just gonna have to warm up some milk with food coloring. You're gonna need some white chocolate sauce. I got this from World Markets. And then you're gonna top it off with some whipped cream, some cute marshmallows, and some of the sprinkles that we're using for the cake. Pink milk. I don't like it super sweet, so I'm not gonna add too much. Maybe, maybe a lot. <laughs> just kind of whisk that in. Then, A little crazy. We're gonna add the marshmallows. Just throw these on here. Ah, it's so cute! Some glitter. I love it. I'm gonna let it spill a little bit. And that is the unicorn hot chocolate. Oh, that looks perfect. It's cute, right? Alrighty guys, so we are finally done. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do with all of these leftover sprinkles, look at this giant thing, it's so deep. If you guys know what I should do with these, leave me a comment down below, because I have no idea. But yeah, let's cut into this and taste it. I'm scared. <laughs> We've got our hot chocolate here. I've already been drinking some, so it's a little bit low. Mm. Ah! That is so good. You guys have to make this. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like me to do more videos like this in the future, and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!